There are a ton of VPNs out there and sorting through all their features, claims, and pricing can get overwhelming fast. So today we're breaking down three of the best, NordVPN, Surfshark, and ProtonVPN, comparing their features, their performance, and their real world use to help you figure out which one makes the most sense for you. NordVPN, Surfshark, and ProtonVPN all cover the essentials when it comes to privacy. Each one hides your real IP address, encrypts your internet traffic, and has a strict no logs policy that's been independently audited. That means that none of them track or store your browsing history, keeping your internet activity private, even from the VPN provider itself. But there are a few notable differences when it comes to privacy. With NordVPN, it's based in Panama, which isn't part of any surveillance alliances and doesn't have any data retention laws. ProtonVPN is based in Switzerland, which is also a privacy-friendly jurisdiction. And furthermore, all of its apps are open source, so anyone can inspect the code. Also, ProtonVPN is upfront about its ownership and its team, which isn't always the case in the VPN world. Now, Surfshark is based in the Netherlands, which is part of the Nine Eyes Alliance. However, they've had their no logs policy independently verified and the technical safeguards that they have in place doesn't really make this a concern for the majority of users. Overall, with any of these three VPNs, your privacy is in good hands. NordVPN, Surfshark, and ProtonVPN all deliver when it comes to core security features. No matter which one you pick, you get strong up-to-date encryption, multiple secure protocols including WireGuard, a kill switch to prevent leaks if the connection drops, and split tunneling so you can choose which specific apps or sites use the VPN. Where we see differences is in their advanced options. For example, with NordVPN, it stands out with its range of specialty servers. Double VPN for added encryption, Onion over VPN for accessing the Tor network, obfuscated servers for getting around censorship, and dedicated P2P servers for file sharing. With Surfshark, you get rotating IP, which regularly changes your IP address for an extra layer of privacy, and multi-hop, which lets you route your traffic through two servers for an extra layer of protection. And ProtonVPN is unique with its secure core servers, which route your traffic through privacy-friendly countries before connecting to your selected country. And with ProtonVPN, you get Tor servers for easy access to the Tor network directly. So with all three of these VPNs, you're getting that industry standard security, but each one does have a little something extra to offer. Let's talk about the different places that you can connect to with ProtonVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. ProtonVPN has one of the largest networks out there, over 13,000 servers in 122 countries. So overall, just super impressive to be able to access so many servers. NordVPN is next in line when it comes to server count, Currently, they have over 7,000 servers in 126 countries. So you're going to be able to find servers all over the globe, including those specialty servers. And with Surfshark, they currently have 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is still a huge server network. And we didn't run into any issues getting a reliable connection. All three VPNs make it easy to select a server by location or type and each one gives detailed information about the server so that you can get the fastest and most stable connection wherever you are. When it comes to the user experience with NordVPN, ProtonVPN, and Surfshark, they all perform quite well across devices. With all of them, you can connect to a server with a simple tap or a click, quickly switch locations, and access all the core features from a simple dashboard but each one has its own unique feel. For example, NordVPN stands out for its interactive map, which makes it easy to visually choose a server location. Surfshark doesn't have a map view, but the interface looks great nonetheless. And we like that on the Android app, you're able to easily toggle features like rotating IP and the kill switch. And ProtonVPN, it has a really cool interface, especially on Mac OS. With the dark interactive world map and purple highlights, you can toggle secure core and the kill switch and easily see the features of each server. With all three of these VPNs, you're going to have a straightforward experience, just with a slightly different feel and presentation. Let's talk about VPN speed, because NordVPN, Surfshark, and ProtonVPN all performed really well in our testing. 
as with any VPN, the actual performance is always going to vary a bit based on your location, the device that you have, the server that you connect to, as well as your internet service provider. But in general, you can expect to see a similar trend across NordVPN, Surfshark, and ProtonVPN. For testing, our baseline internet speed without a VPN was 300 megabits per second. And while our download and upload speeds all dropped to varying degrees when connected to the VPN servers, in general, it didn't have a noticeable effect on our normal browsing and streaming experience. When it comes to streaming with NordVPN, Surfshark, and ProtonVPN, we were able to stream Netflix with all three, connecting to servers in different countries and successfully bypassing geo restrictions. Where ProtonVPN stands out is that the servers actually tell you which streaming platforms they're optimized for, which helps to take the guesswork out of it. With NordVPN and Surfshark, the servers aren't labeled as streaming specifically, but we will say that all the servers that we tried there did not give us any issues when trying to stream Netflix. Let's talk about cost. So pricing for these three VPNs depends on the plan that you choose and any deals that they're running at the time. Generally speaking, Surfshark is the most affordable, especially if you choose the longer term plan. It usually comes out to a few dollars a month. NordVPN tends to land in the middle and ProtonVPN tends to be the priciest of the three for a comparable long term plan. As with most VPN providers, the longer the commitment is, the better your average monthly price is going to be. So definitely check out our links in the description below for the latest deals. One other thing to keep in mind here is how many devices you can cover with a single subscription. And Surfshark does stand out here with its unlimited simultaneous connections. So you're going to be able to cover every device in your house, no problem. Whereas with NordVPN and ProtonVPN, you're limited to 10 simultaneous connections, which is still more than enough for most people, but definitely something to be aware of. So which VPN is right for you? Go with NordVPN if you want the best all around VPN with fast speeds, servers in a ton of locations, a great user experience, and specialty servers. Choose Surfshark if you're looking for the best value. It covers unlimited devices with one plan and has solid speeds and a respectable server network at a great price. And go with ProtonVPN if your top priorities are privacy and transparency. It's based in Switzerland, has open source apps, and they fully disclose who the team is and how they protect your data, all while providing strong speeds, a massive server network, and great streaming support. Want to learn more about NordVPN, Surfshark, or ProtonVPN? Check out the links to our reviews in the description below.